a grad school final due on Monday that I haven't even started. I've officially missed the deadline for my final. This is an ADHD procrastination induced essay crisis. Welcome to the next 72 hours of my life. I have a final due on Monday. Good morning and welcome. I am in New Haven, Connecticut, where I've been for like the last week and a half. And I am currently with the Red Hat Academic, Kaylin. We are heading to grab coffee in a rush to run to the library because we both have deadlines on Monday. Have we done any work on it? No. I have a grad school final due on Monday that I haven't even started. And I have like 15 pages to write on my dissertation proposal, so. And the thing is, I, I finished a different final a week early so I'd have the time to write this final. But did I? Absolutely not. Am I suffering the consequences? Absolutely yes. What is happening? Wish us luck. For this final, I was working on a paper for a class called The Materiality of Fashion, and I was tasked with writing an object biography of a garment for my own personal collection, as well as doing an object condition report, which is the kind of reporting that people do in museums, so we can keep a record of what kind of condition garments in a collection are in, and whether or not they are stable enough to be exhibited in a museum. For my report, I was focusing on this sheer red and white day dress that I have in my collection that I've worn a couple of times, but I tried to pick an object that I had worn a lot so that I was relatively unfamiliar with it and I could treat it like I could treat an object that I was seeing for the first time in a museum collection. On day two, disaster struck. Kaylin got super sick, so we didn't end up going anywhere. In fact, I wrote most of my essay from Kaylin's bed while I kept her company and tried to nurse her back to health as best as I could. So we really just spent the day laying in bed watching YouTube videos and movies while I tried to finish my object biography. She lives. I'm back and I'm ready to cause mayhem. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, are you so cute? Are you so cute? Do you want to go? Ready for... Do you? <laughs> yes. So, I have bad news. I've officially missed the deadline for my final. Hmm. 
You would think that missing the deadline would reduce my anxiety and give me more of a blase, I'll get it done when I get it done attitude, but it has somehow only increased my anxiety. The only thing that is keeping me from absolutely losing it right now is the fact that the strike is still happening. So I don't even know if my professor wants us to submit a final project anymore. I also don't want to submit anything on Canvas because that's using new school resources and crossing the picket line. I was originally gonna email it to her anyways, so I just, I, <laughs> I'm just going to keep moving forward and finish uploading this YouTube video, publish it, and do the rest of the work that I have to do for this final and turn it in by the end of the day today. The thing is, my professor made it due at 2 p.m., which is when we technically have class today, but we don't have class because of the strike. So I don't... I'm working with the best information that I have right now, and it's basically no information. There's been little to no communication about what is expected of us as students, which I understand is the point. It is just a very frustrating experience. I have not missed a deadline for a final without speaking to one of my professors first and coming up with, you know, some kind of other situation, some agreement about when I can turn in my assignments since first semester of community college. So I am, I'm fine. She's fine. It's, I'm doing great. I'm going to eat my lunch, finish my YouTube video, take the photographs that I need to take for my dress because that is the last thing that I need to include in my final is the documentation of the dress because this is an object biography, object analysis like I did for my midterm and then just slap that into a document and submit it as soon as I can. <laughs> at all how you handle museum garments but this is from my own personal collection so I am going to do whatever I please with it. I'm going to photograph this garment overall and then I'm going to photograph the little bits and pieces of this that I had to document for the condition report. So I'm going to be photographing like this repair and the pleat down here there's a tear in the seam allowance up here and then there's also just some other unusual bits about this, like the fraying on the inside. To get a good clear photo of the pattern on the fabric and go from there. absolutely destroyed my room filming this little bit of my finals essay crisis. <laughs> aside, kick all my laundry aside. Hello, I'm back from the city. I recorded nothing, but I did manage to uh, finish my final. So my final is done. It is turned in. I emailed it to my professor for my personal email. So I wasn't using like a new school resource by using Canvas. Not the perfect solution, but I want credit for the hard work that I did. And I believe that this just about brings us to the end of the essay crisis. I am a freaking mess. I have a little bit more work to get done tonight before I can go to bed, but I'm gonna crawl into bed, deal with this mess, and work on it in bed, and go to sleep, <laughs> and get up tomorrow, and do this all over again. <laughs> for my two other finals that I have, thanks for watching. I'm going to bed. <sighs> oh.